Okay, so again, they want us to complete the ANOVA table for the following CRD experiment. So to get this missing degrees of freedom, it's pretty easy. We know that this column must sum up to give us the total degrees of freedom. So 2 and 12 make 14, of course. Now from here, we're missing SST. So we want to remember this relationship that the total sum of squares is equal to SST plus SSE. So if I know SSE and SS total, I can solve for SST, which is what I'm missing. So if I subtract SSE from both sides of this equation, then I will end up with on the right hand side SST, which is actually what we're looking for here. So let's take the total sum of squares and subtract off the error sum of squares, and that will give us our answer for SST. Okay, so we're going to do 99.693 minus 23.572. Okay, and when we're done, we get 76.121. 76.121. Okay, now from here, we do not need to fill out this lower little three sets of boxes, but we do need to have MSE and MST, and then the F value. So in order to get MST, we have to divide the SST by the, its degrees of freedom. So we need to take half of 76.121. So we're going to divide the value we had in our calculator earlier, 76.121 by 2. And we get 38.1, essentially. 38.1. Okay, and then from there, we're going to do the same for the error to get its MSE value. It's 23.572 divided by 12. So 23.572 divided by 12. And when you're done with that, you get 1.964. 1.964. Okay, and finally, to fill in this F value, we have to remember that it's MST over MSE. So for us, that's going to be 38.1 divided by 1.964. Okay, let's see what that gives us then, essentially. So the actual number was 38. 0605, and I'll divide that by 1.964, and then it actually had three repeating after that. And when we're done, we get 19.37 or 19.4 approximately. Okay, so that's your F test stat for this ANOVA table.